I have given Mr. J the task of finding the plane who may be missing a wiper. Yeah, like it's gone through the windscreen. And it would appear we have found the culprit. Check it out on Mr. J's channel by clicking the card at the top of the video or see the description. Whilst here, as promised in the first video, I show you the original MOV footage from the dashcam, which starts in a car park. And that dodgy dashcam mount, which is why the camera is pointing upwards. Now, I've already recorded this once and it's been a complete waste of time. That's because Coral Screen Capture, I always have problems with it recording sound. So, good old Adobe Audition, I'm now recording the audio in. Here is the original movie. And I've got some frame grabs here. There's that wiper. Next one, bosh. Nasty. Some photos. Let's have a look at the original movie. Now, one thing you may see here is the camera is rocking very slightly. That's because the camera is not properly fixed. The sticker that's attached to the windscreen keeps coming unstuck. Once it's come unstuck once, it just keeps coming unstuck and um, sometimes you don't notice it. So this has dropped down from the windscreen and it's currently being supported by its cable. So it's not falling off the windscreen completely. You may be able to see that rocking. There we go, it's a bit of wind. And you can see it moving from side to side. All right, let's go down a bit further. To where we leave the car park, there we go. So onto that M6 motorway where the deed is done. All right, so as Mr. Che has found out, it appears to be a Jet 2 plane. It's a 737-300, which is an older model now. And there we go. And that appears to be the wiper from it. There we go. Nasty. I did promise to show you the the edited timeline from Adobe Premiere. All right, now for those who don't know Adobe Premiere, you can arrange this however you want. You can just drag and drop things in different places. Um, I've got the timeline down here. I've got the effects control up here. And then this box here is for the footage. So there is the original movie. Those are the frame grabs that I showed you earlier. Um, so anyway, let's go along the footage here. So the box at the top here is the watermark. That's fairly simple. Let's go along a bit further. This title is the M6 title, and then this one is the keep watching title. Just show you inside one of them. There we go, a bit of text. And there's a box. Now there's three sections down here. Now for those who know Adobe Premiere, to do a mask is not that simple. It's quite complicated, but it's very flexible. So to mask the registration number there, you need three lines. I'm just gonna turn these off to begin with. First of all, you need a box. So there is the box, that's the mask. Then you need the original footage, but blurred. So I've copied that, put it here and blurred it. There we go. If I click on that footage and then go to the effects control, 
there's my camera blur that I've added on. So let's increase that. There we go. It was completely blurred now. Let's put it back where it was. Then you need the original footage. Now this is overlaying this one. But what I've done is I've used this feature here. And I've told it to reference video one, which is this line here. And if it finds a different color or a solid color, then it creates a mask. And what it does is I've inverted the mask. There we go. So in other words, it creates a hole. And there is the hole. So if I turn off the blur line, I should go straight down to the layer at the bottom. There we go. So I've cut a hole in this layer and that reveals the layer underneath, which is the blur. That's how you do a blur in Adobe Premiere. So let's go along. That's where it happens. So this is all the original footage. And the only thing applied is the mask for the blur, the registration number, and also my watermark there. Let's move it along. That's where it happens. Then I cut to these two lines here. Let's have a look at them. It's exactly the same. It's just I've altered the speed. So I'm running at 21%. And also I've zoomed in. So we click on that line and we look at the effects control. Then I've altered the position and I've altered the scale. So from there it zooms in like that. And then it zooms out. And I've copied it down here and this is the blur layer. So in other words, a blur layer moves out with the first layer. There we go. The next sequence, well, this is just um, the original footage again afterwards. And the audio, I've continued. So where the incident occurred right at the beginning, I've just continued that underneath here all the way through until the end. And we go to here. All right, so that's just the um, original footage until it goes to the end. Now, what I've done here is I'm cutting to these layers now. Now these are on top of these layers, so that didn't really need to go underneath there. Let's just move it and put it so it's level as I'm cutting from this section to this section. Now what have we got here? This is the slow motion replay. Now all this is doing is this is just replaying the JPEGs. But the JPEGs you can't see because they are in a nested sequence. Let's have a look at a nested sequence. There we go, and I've nested it into another sequence. These are the JPEGs. Now it's just one JPEG into another JPEG. With a crossfade in between it. Now because I've put it in a nested sequence, those JPEGs are inside this nested sequence here. So now I can adjust the speed and the time did I do that on this sequence? Nope, that's because this one I'm highlighting here is the box up in the top left hand side. And you can see I put a drop shadow. I put two drop shadows, one for each corner. This one here is the mask. And what's the one at the bottom here? That's the footage. Uh, actually, no, that's not the footage. That's another JPEG line. There we go. There's those JPEGs. All right, and then go along to here. And these are the picture zoom in. So this is just the pictures zooming all the way in. You can see the scale going up as we get to the end. And then it cross fades into the next photo. This one zooms out. There we go. There's the zoom zooming out till it gets to there and it stops for a little bit. Cuts to the next photo. Same thing, zooms out. All 
Then we go to another nested sequence. This is the same nested sequence, and I've done this at a different speed. So at the start of this nested sequence, let's have a look inside. There's inside the nested sequence, JPEGs. And I've altered the speed as it goes through. So at the start, it's at 423%. And then as it goes through, watch that number. It starts getting less and less. So in other words, at the beginning, it's quite fast. Then as it goes through, it starts to slow down bit by bit until it goes to the normal speed. So 150, 100%. Okay, so what's left, cut back to the photo, and then this is the new title that I had to put on. Now really, this is the reason why I'm making this video, just to show you the original footage, to show you that it is genuine. Yep, the camera's pointing up at the sky, but um, maybe if I show you one of the pictures, I think you can actually see the stickers come away slightly. Might not be able to show you on that one. But you get the idea, it hangs from here. This part of the stickers come off, so it's just dangling down a bit and it's held up by its cable. Let's see if I can show you that a bit better. I'm not sure if I've got a picture that highlights that. Possibly this one. Oh yes. There we go, and there you can see it. There's a bit that's come unstuck, and there's the bit that's holding it on the windscreen. So it's dangling down from this bit, and this bit supporting the front. So that's why you've got the camera aiming up at the sky. So the last little bit is there's my text explaining a few things. That fades out, and then I've got the overrun for the end screen to appear, which is about 20 seconds. And then that is the end of the movie. There's the original footage. Right click, reveal in Explorer. Cuts to that file there. Which is that one. <sighs> right. It's recorded it this time, brilliant. Thank you for watching.